Alright, so what's up guys? It's Brain Grow. Um, we got another project coming at you here. This is going to be a slow sand biofilter. Now, this is uh, going to act similarly as whenever you establish your aquaponic system. You have to let the, uh, I guess in this case we'll call it the filtering, the filtering bacteria established. And that's going to form a colony on the top of your sand. Now what we're going to do is the bottom for about an inch or two, we're going to put gravel there. And then on top of that, up to about the bottom of this baffle right here, we're going to put sand. So I'm gathering some gravel right now. Uh, I'm just getting it from outside my house. I got some really nice, uh, really small gravel out here. So after I do that, I'm going to clean it up real quickly throw it in the bottom I'll have to add a spigot onto the side here and um, now the way this works is uh, you have to keep it circulating uh, 24 hours well not circulating you just have to keep the water level above the level of the sand in my case I am going to have it circulating for 24 hours a day whether the valve is on or not but um, let's see, uh, gravel, I'm fixing to throw some gravel in there. So let me show you what that looks like real quick. So I'd gather gravel, just so I can give you a size of what it, size of gravel that I have. So I'm just picking it up off of my yard. I'm gonna get about three, four inches at the bottom of this bucket, just to make sure I have enough. And then I'll have to wait on getting some sand. But uh, that's going to be the next step. Alright, so here we go, guys. Pretty simple. Alright, we got... That's a, basically our overflow pipe, okay? Um, um, that's going to be the... Uh, where the water comes out. The filtered water comes out of the bottom. And we have just a little piece that's going to slip in there. And then I'm going to turn to face it down. As you can see, I drilled some little holes around there. And that's just going to make sure that we get the water from the very side. I mean, the very bottom of the filter. And there will still be room to go, you know, uh, um, for water to go underneath in the very bottom here. All right, so after adding the gravel, we uh, looks like we're actually able to cover the whole uh, bottom plumbing, uh, which is what I was hoping for. So uh, that'll be nice and safe from the sand going in there. But um, yeah, the only thing I got to do is put the sand in here, and then uh, we're going to run it, and we'll see how it does. What's up, guys? Um... I'm here back again with the sand filter and I finally got the sand that I need so you can look at this compared to that and look at how coarse this sand is this is play sand brand pavestone all right and I've already showed you what the plumbing looks like on the inside so I'm just gonna fill this thing up with the sand we're gonna crank it up and hopefully this works better than what this super fine sand does uh, I'm probably going to throw like a small, maybe one inch or half inch layer on the very top of the coarse sand. I may not even do that, but um, we'll see. Because the way this is supposed to go is uh, you put your gravel, then you put your coarse sand, and then you put your fine sand on top. Well, I mean, ideally you start with larger gravel, then you work your way up to the smaller particulates. It's just the way it goes, that we have more flow at the bottom. But uh, without further ado, let's load this thing up and see how it works. So what's up guys? Uh, we got the, the sand filter running right here. I'm just going to open it up and show you. Hopefully I don't make a fucking mess right here. But this thing blew my mind just, just a while ago. And I just have to share it with you. Alright, so there's what the sand filters looking like right now as you can see the water level is about two inches above the sand uh, right there set by the overflow uh, the water is coming in and hitting the baffle so as not to disturb the surface of the sand once the 
bacteria gets established and this has been running for about two hours and uh, let me make sure it's not running down the hole there all right so hold on okay you can hear the jar filling up the jar is filling up as little mess as possible so this is the water that we're dealing with after running for about two hours we're now kicking out completely clear non turbid water all right so I'm extremely happy with this right now and uh, for shits and giggles and to see what kind of difference this thing was making um, I did a water test all right I did a pH test to be more specific all right so the water that I'm getting is coming out of the well at about 8.4 pH all right so when I did the water test hold on let me go get my fucking all right so here we go guys I went ahead and set up a vial with water of the uh, pre-filtered water and we're talking water that's already clear water that's already clean in from the well all right now look at that it's reading at about 8.2 it's in that magenta color all right now let's uh, I had just I just showed the vial of the post filtered water and just look at this shit this is I didn't fucking uh, look that's at least at about between seven we'll say 7.9 you know around the 7.8 to 8.0 mark this is crazy guys all right my mind is blown right now like I was I was uh, installing the sand filter for the purpose of you know cleaning my rainwater but this is evidence right here and this is simply play sand all right this is the most simple design all right we got gravel on the bottom right on top of the gravel we have a layer of biochar that I made homemade that I had left over in a jar and this is all play sand right here that's water you know and then the pipe just comes right here and I just have a tee covered with some landscaping cloth to keep any larger debris from getting into the into the pipe all right <clears throat> as you can see this water coming out is super clean uh, we do have a little bit of a leak right there but that's not a problem because that's going straight back down into the container if, if it makes it up to that to that volume where it's actually going to start leaking back but um i just i had to share that with you guys because i did the test um just on a whim you know i was like hey you know what if we can see evidence that this sand filter is filtering out particles that you can't even see from the water and I'm talking of course about the calcium carbonate that would be present in the well water alright the sand filter is filtering out calcium carbonate and I'm, I'm, I'm just running the well water through it to clean out the filter of all of the all of the dirt and stuff this when I first started the, the filter it was coming out pretty brown you know it was real real nasty even had a little bit of sand sediment at the bottom I'm actually thinking that was from the previous sand that I used on this so it was probably stuck in the pipe I'm not 100% sure of that but uh, that's what I'm thinking it probably was anyway now this is where we are right here alright this is the water that's coming out of the sand filter no debris in it whatsoever and it's actually the pH test is evidence that the water is actually cleaner than what it went in. Super simple design, guys. All right, go down to the local hardware store. You can get you a uh, bag of the sand. It was less than five dollars. It was less than four dollars even. Um, both of these buckets are left over. This is kind of my reservoir that I'm going to have to be filling up throughout the day. I am going to put a valve right here on this so uh, I can just shut it off whenever I don't need water and I'll make sure that the water level stays above the sand filter I mean above the sand you want to make sure that the water stays above the sand because that is how your uh, bacteria will stay alive and in here we simply have uh, air stone 
and the pump. I'm not going to move all this thing because this is actually really fucking heavy with the rocks and the sand inside it. But, like I said, guys, um, I just had to share this with you because I just had my mind blown. Because this super simple filtration technique can work to even clean up your well water a little bit. I'm, I'm guessing that if I kept on running the same water through the filter, that eventually we could get that pH to drop enough. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try it, but because um, I don't want to contaminate my filter full of uh, calcium carbonate buildup for now. But uh, I'm fixing to start filtering all my rainwater that I've collected, and uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know right now that um, I'm probably gonna do a short video on a first flush diverter for your rainwater if you're interested in collecting rainwater. But um. Here's the evidence, guys. My mind was blown. So, uh, get yourself a sand filter, guys. I guess that's going to go ahead and do it for this episode anyway. But um, later on today, I'm fixing to start finishing up these uh, dry sift screens. I finally got me some contact cement so I can make these things look nice. But, um, yeah, guys. Uh, if you found this video educational or helpful which I absolutely hope you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more stuff so you can have a self-sustaining garden peace out from brain grow show you what we're working with before we filter this water twice this is what it looks like you see that color it's terrible so uh, fix and run it through the filter I just put together as a pre-filter and then after that filter runs I'm going to uh, <clears throat> test the levels and then I'm going to run it through the second filter and test again. Running it through the pre-filter this is what we got this color of water it's a little bit better than what we started with this is just basically the pre-screening to get most of the junk out. Now we tested the pH on it And the pH is up there about 8.4, 8.8, somewhere around there. It's one of those super high ones. And uh, I'm running it through the second filtration right now. I'm fixing to go ahead and get a sample of that. So after the second filtering, we're down to about 8.0, 8.2. And I'm going to run a third filtering and see if we can't push it down even more. Because if we can, then I'm going to just go ahead and run through this process with all of the water that I filter for now. So this is what the water looks like after running it through the filter, the pre-filter, I'm calling that one, and then the filter, the slow sand filter, once. So uh, I'm running it through a third time right now after I finish putting this in there. That'll be all the water uh, running through for the second time. So this is the first of the water running through a second time. I'm hoping we can drop the pH even more. If we can, then I'll just run it through the filter till it's at the pH that I like. So uh, this is going to be the last one that I run through. So uh, let's go ahead and look at that pH and see what that's looking like. Alright, so after running it through the filter about three times, we've been able to get it to drop to about 8.0. So, uh, like I said, I guess if I was to keep on repeating this, I could get it to go even lower. But, um, I'm pretty happy with this. And this pretty much uh, is what I wanted to show you guys, you know, just wanted to showcase the effectiveness of this filter. So uh, that's going to do it, guys. Peace out from Brain Grow. Be looking out for the do-it-yourself dry screen video.